Hello folks, hump day again, I'm on live again, like I said, I got the uh, link in the top, uh -oh. heard something move over on my building there, hopefully it ain't a big old snake, chasing them mice, we'll catch it if it is. But anyway, let's talk about, let's go, y'all want to go talk about that in just a little bit. Let's let a few more people get on, everybody burn some, you know, that's what this channel's for, information. Hey tacos, what's up my man? Always love hearing from you, talkers. Oh, hey, Gabriel. What's up, guys? I'm getting ready to, uh, let's, you know, it's been like two days since we did the oatmeal. You know, and somebody late in the comments asked me about, you know, if I use my oatmeal on the vegetables and stuff. I use it on everything. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Yeah, burning it down. Tell it the next one. But anyway, I don't know if you noticed in the last video. Oh, uh, Bozo, I'm on. I'm gonna try to set it right. Bozo Buddy or Bozo Butt and Scott Ball. I've seen some nares on them plants in there on my OG on one of them. And it was the one that I didn't get hung in the vacuum cleaner. And it never popped like pistols. But I seen a few too. But so far along, I don't think it's gonna matter. I ain't got nothing for it to really germinate. It's indoors and closed, so I don't think it can get my outside stuff. But we're gonna just let it run on out. I've seen a few tiny ones. I don't know if they're nanners or not. They look kind of funky. We'll see. But anyway, if y'all want me to, we go outside and look at the you know garden. I'll show you what's happening at the ones I put the oatmeal on. Those suckers are praying. They really like that fungus. I gave them nothing but water yesterday. And oh yeah, folks, next week, temperature on Tuesday. They say that we're supposed to get cooler than normal temperatures. Oh man, I'm so tired of these 100 degrees. Okay, Gabriel, that's what I was going to do. I was going to take a pair of tweezers. There's only like four of them I see on there, you know? So, I'm going to take a pair of tweezers and pop them off. They just started. The oatmeal recipe, I did it in my, uh, my flour mix video. You take, you know, you take like your oatmeal here, you grind it up in the coffee blender into like this powder form. I think I'm in a jar here. Grind it up like a powder. And right as your, your your cannabis starts putting on a little white flour, dump some of that uh, oatmeal in there and water it down with molasses water. And watch what happens. Yeah, I am. I'm gonna pick them off, Gabriel. But I did it. I guess it was on a video on my uh, what is it my flower and nutrients mix or whatever. One of my last videos on my outdoor stuff. So if you check that video out, you see me dump the powdered oatmeal in my pots outside and dump the molasses water on it. And we're getting ready to go look at them. Y'all want to go look at them? Go look at them. It's been two days since I did it. I was gonna show it three days, but or three to you know five days. But I'll show you every day if I have to, or every time I get on. Yeah, let's let's run out there and take a look at these real quick. We'll come back in here. And I'll be hey, Stephen Cooper. What's up, my man? 
All right, let's go check it out. Okay, let me set the camera here. No, not that one. Hang on. You gotta deal with me for just a second here. Forward, back facing. Here we go. Oh, let's go outside, folks. We still got enough daylight out here. We haven't looked at the tomatoes in a while. Look how tall these tomatoes are. There's them are trees over there by my chicken pen. Look at these tomatoes. They're coming on nice. They're huge. And you know, we got all of our other tomatoes down the line here. Like I said, you know, we're putting on nice flowers here. These are all in the ground, too. You know, Oklahoma dirt right here, folks. But yeah, we're getting some nice-looking tomatoes on here. They just started, like I said, I planted them later than my mom. We usually do that. When her tomatoes die out, mine just start, so. But as you can tell, yeah, we're putting on... A lot of tomatoes now, and they just started, so we're doing real good. And here's our poblanos. Look at them big old nice poblanos. And these all got oatmeal, too. Now, this old Mongolo, Mongolo, sweet Mongolo, they're slow growers. Next year, I'm going to have to put it out a little earlier. There's a big one down in there. And here's the old, uh, sugar peach rush pepper plant. Sucker is loaded down with just peppers everywhere, folks. Beautiful. Sooner sauce. <laughs> I, I hate to say that all the time, but that's like no teal soil. And here's our bueno malates, as you can tell. All these purple peppers everywhere. I got them where I'm trying to pull my limbs down. These are pretty spicy too. They're not too bad, but they got a sweet spice to them. All right, here we go on there. There's our tomatoes and stuff. Let's go back here to the hot stuff. Here, old Coda here. She'll probably come with us. Oh, hey, Joe. Thanks, my man. Yeah, that's what they're saying. Oh, so poor old Trump. They just won't leave him alone, huh? But, okay, here was our, uh, pretty sure it's of the blue dream here. And as you can see, you know, she's praying. But check out the difference in her. She's coming on really nice, folks. That old fungus is starting to kick in. And here we got our, uh, what was it, diesel? Yeah, here's the diesel. And this is after we gave him the, you know, the oatmeal. And like I said, I watered yesterday. The day before, I gave him the oatmeal. And here we got our, uh, our runts. Look at the way this girl's stacking in. I'm liking how the runts are stacking in nice and tight like that. I'm gonna get it quite a bit. And here's the other runts that's in the barrel. Look how it is. Stacking in really nice and tight, folks. That's just a branch down on the side, too. Here's the top of her. She's a little bit over my head, but you know, not counting, you know, the pot. You know, that's counting the pot. And then right here, we got our granddaddy purple. Look at her, boy, she's praying pretty hard. They like that oatmeal, folks. That's what that oatmeal is doing to her. And it was 100 degrees today. And like I said, she's feeling in really nice, too. Looking good, looking good. And here's our other, uh, what was this one? Blue Dream. Blue Dream right here. Now this one's going to be a heavy yielder. 
she stacked in really hard in there. Yeah, she stacked in hard. She's fit too. Look right there, folks. Grasshopper on there. Grasshoppers don't hurt much. You can see a little bit of trichome starting to pop on her. Oh, yeah, I can smell it on my hand. Yeah, but that's after our uh, oatmeal. So, as you can tell, and then we come over here to our hot pepper. Here's our uh, Carolina Reapers. This bush, folks, comes up to my chest. Look how big this bush is in that pond. This is Carolina Reaper. Oh, yeah, I love Granddaddy Purple, too, Gabe. But yeah, we're getting ill. No, that's ghost pepper. This is ghost pepper, folks. My my bad. I just checked down here on my pot. Ghost pepper, yeah. And then we got our other ghost pepper over here. She kind of laid over on me. We had a little bit of a, a south wind, but I wired her back. We got some red ones going on her. They're hot, too. I ate one the other day. Yeah, that blue dream is filling in hard. Yeah, I can't believe the way she's filling in. And here's our uh, habanero plant. Check out them habanero. You know, we put oatmeal in this too. But we did it sooner than we did in there. But yeah, we got a lot of habaneros popping. And then we got, what is this one? No, our Caribbean. She just started popping pepper. She must be a later pepper one. And as you can tell, they're starting to change their colors. There's a few under here. We got our new ones popping. And like I said, folks, we got them up in here. They're all up in here. You just can't really see them. And then we got our other habanero. And she's a little behind. They haven't quite changed colors yet. But there's a lot of flowers on there. And like I said, everywhere the flower will be a, a, a pepper. And then here we got our Caribbeans again. Nice, beautiful brown pepper. And then here we got our Reaper. Our Carolina Reaper. Which I picked about five of them off of it yesterday. And I had some boys just try them out. Because they like spicy stuff. And uh, next time we get a batch, we're going to pop them on. Plus, I made some spray out of it. Some spray. And we got our, uh, you know, our jalapenos. Check out these nice shiny jalapenos, folks. And these are pretty good sized jalapenos. You know, my thumb's pretty, I got a pretty big old thumb. And I smashed it so many times. Oh, just give me an email. I got a, a email on the uh, about on about pet on my about page on my YouTube channel. Just shoot me an email. And let me know it's you, Eric. And I'll get in touch with you. I'll try them out. I'll try anything out. Yeah, but yeah, that's what the oatmeal does, folks. Like I said, and like I said, this old. Blue Dream, she's stacking in nice. Really nice. Nice and thick. That's some thick looking stuff there. We're going to have those ones that's like this. And here's the top of her. And like I said, she's pretty strong from the Oklahoma wind we get out here. Ooh, it made my hands sticky. This old Granddaddy Purple is praying hard though. Like I said, the sun's going down, so I figured if I did it live early enough, we all could check it out. Yeah, but the old runs are stacking in nice, too. Just about on every limb. You grab one of these limbs here. Yeah, look at this limb, folks. Stack, 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 stack. Yeah, I'm digging it. I'm digging it. Yeah, the peppers, yeah. I make like a 
you know, just like I do my uh, fermentation on the uh, grass clippings, you know, the center soil, do that with some peppers. And yes. when you do that with some peppers, uh, uh, you can uh, make that water and spray it on there. And it helps keep the bugs off. Dakota. Here's our old guard dogs out playing around. Let's go back in here in the building real quick. Oh, hey, Wild Bill. I just showed my outside stuff, Grummy. Now we're going here. Here's what the old Bloom Plus 4 Talon was doing. You guys seen in my video just, I think it was a day ago. Yeah, I've never, I never, this is my first time to grow runs. I'm kind of digging it. That runs looks good to me. And then, like I said, you know, I was Scott and all. Bozo butt, they showed me the other day. Y'all catch this. Let's see what you guys know. Right, here's our Venom OGs here. Yeah, this is the one I got hung in the vacuum cleaner. And then this is the one that never, you know, this one here never popped the, the white hairs. You know, it just went straight in the bud. But if you look right here, let me see if I can get this in frame. Y'all see that? Let's that right there right above my thumb looks like a nanner but i only see a few of them and there's like maybe maybe that's one right there you see that little thing right there i've only found like one or two or three on here but i think i'm gonna do what gabe said i'm just gonna take a pair of tweezers and just pinch them off but man, I'm glad you guys uh, caught those, you know. <laughs> Which I don't think I'll get any hardly any seeds anyway. You know, I had that auto flower grow and had that Girl Scout cookie. I'm gonna zip her. Had that Girl Scout cookie. Well, uh, it nannered on me just a little bit. <laughs> the other one wasn't that quite far along, so I just practically, you know. Uh, gave gave that plan away. Hey Steve, what's up, dude? But I gave that plan away, and uh, let me get this camera changed back here. There we go. Now we're back. Let me set up my little bitty on my table to make me feel like a little kid. I gotta get a toy chair, folks. Let me get this phone plugged back in the charge here. And we can smoke and talk. Let me get this phone plugged back in the charge here. And we can smoke and talk. No, the one with the vacuum, the one I hit with the vacuum cleaner uh, is the one that's not. Oh, hey, what's up, man? Just showing off the garden. Oh, really? Yeah, that's what I'm... Hell yeah, that's what I'm growing next. I got some Jelly Ranchers, that uh, Strawberry Parfait. You all know that Max Stomper. We're going to try it out. We're going to try it out. But yeah, that's what the oatmeal's done so far. But yeah, like I said, man, that oatmeal, that helps out a lot. Oh, KK All Day Racing, how's it going, my man? Detroit in the house. Right on, right on. Where is, uh, Bike show, and we say, and we would say down here, hail ride. Oh yeah, that's where I, that's where mine was supposed to come from too. The Jelly Ranchers and the uh, was the Holbert Seed Company. Had a friend give them to me. Blue Mary and Buffin. Vanilla cream pie. Mm. 
had that vanilla frosting, but it never popped up on me. I don't know if it was my fault or, you know, if it was just a seat, but they both did. Oh, man. A raspberry parfait. Yeah, I'm trying it this year. Okay, yeah, man. I put the link in the top here. Let me go ahead and throw it back up there for y'all. Yeah, if you want to jump on, jump on. That's what this is for, folks. Smoking some Girl Scout cookie tonight. I've been kind of busy, so y'all probably won't see me for a few days after this because uh, you know, we'll still do our Friday night smoke a thon. But uh, gotta go back. <coughs> <coughs> work on the commercial. <coughs> Me and my uncle, we switch out. You know, he runs the first part of the week. I usually run at the end of the week. Kind of helps out that way. So we get a half a week, you know, and not have to go up there. We we'll meet in the middle. Talk about our next step. But yeah, I'm kind of digging, you know. My bloom plus. And like I said, you know, folks, this building here, we're going to convert it. It's taller. Um, I'm going to grow some massive ones this year indoors. And I might even throw some peppers and tomatoes in here. Grow some veggies in the wintertime. We should do that all the time, but we don't now. Oh, what's up, Matt? How's it going, man? Oh, what up? Hopefully you can hear me fine. Oh, yeah. No, you come in and prove it. Yeah, it's kind of hard out here in the middle of the sticks, man. I live in the middle of pasture country, you know, cattle country, you know. People's either oh, running cattle or got hay, you know. It's good, though, there, though. You can do what you want. You're not stuck with doing stuff like around here. <laughs> Yeah, I can't even grow in my uh, in this place, which sucks. That's why I have to grow um another place indoor on uh, indoor and stuff. Oh, yeah, it's like all indoor. Yeah, it's all indoor. Yeah, I got them outdoors out there. They're doing fine, pretty good right now. But I'm sorry. Oh, yeah, them. I started them real late, man. They was like June, June something when I put them out. So if I was, oh, they're stacking up. Yeah, if I would have started out in May, but every time I do that in May, I get huge plants. And like I said, I sit in here and trim for hours. And, you know, I don't need that much. You know what I'm saying? You know? Yeah. And when I get them up there too tall, you know, I'm like, damn, I got way too much. What am I going to do with this? You know? Oh, yeah. And you're sitting there. And even if you get somebody else to help you, you know that they're not going to do as good of a job as yourself, like up to your own standards. And you're, just, yeah, <laughs> you're yeah. rechecking everybody else's work. You're just like, oh, shit. Yeah, because I got neighbors that's got medical cards, you know. I'm like, if you guys come up and trim, you can, you know, just take home what you trim. I got too much anyway, you know. Oh, yeah. But yeah. It helps out, you know. What are the rules down in the States? Can you, are you allowed to just gift weed down in the States, or does it have to be someone with a medical card? Oh, no, everybody has, no, here in Oklahoma, you have to have a medical card. Oh, you do? Yeah, they're real lenient, though, you know, so. I could, I could take an ounce up to actually up to 30 grams so just over an ounce and i can send it to anybody i want across my country in the mail oh really that's cool that's <laughs> anybody cool. they don't need to they don't need to have a medical card but that's what is well that but but being legalized in canada we can do that up to an hour up to 30 grams oh yeah but the yeah, thing is a, you can nice here i wish that would happen here you can grow up to four plants but if you grow six plants and you don't have a license, then all of a sudden you can get six months in fucking jail. Like it's it goes right from being legal, legal, legal to jail time. 
Yeah. So it's 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 not a nice it's a not a nice transition. Yeah, because I got I got that over. And I also got a, a comment from our uh, that toss dart, you know. Yeah. And he put me on that. It was a, a video that there was somebody named Gabe Brown. They was talking about you know like. <laughs> yeah, I saw that. I saw I saw that comment. I, I was trying to understand that. That's but practically kind of... what we do. That's practically what we do down here in Oklahoma. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, I've got I've got we've got three different pastures, and we rotate our cows through the pasture. You know, and we use oh, hay. Yeah. We don't feed cows corn here. You know, it's all hay. You know, and so it's better than, I've it's got better a variety than that, yeah. of you know plant life out there. I've got you know nettles, comfrey. I've got, you know, uh, Johnson grass, all that stuff, wildflowers, you know. And, and you the cow it. kind of just eat it and then shit it and then shit and then kind of just mix it all into your fields, right? Yeah, yeah, that's pretty much, yeah. yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> What's up, KJ? <coughs> What's up? Looking, that old male's stretching hard, boy. That's a tall male. Yeah, look at that boy. That's that candy land, ain't it? Yeah. Yep, that's that candy land. Ooh. You got uh, plenty of plenty of policy on um, Mostly sativa. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, he's breeding his uh candy land with his cherry pie and his uh green something. Oh nice. Yeah, he's got yeah, that green, green giant. Green giant, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we got we got we got some uh we got and some you, uh buzz outside now. Yeah, it looks like you got them looking good now. Yeah, they're looking good now. Yeah. That's a buzz site. I think I've seen a seed. Oh look at that, John. Look at that big old seed. Oh yeah. Candy land is look that, that cherry big old seed, John. Is that on the chair? No, pie? that's the green giant, but uh, oh, the green giant. Okay. Pie got it too. Hold on. Look, look at that chain pie. Get my hand off the way. So, hey, you guys tell me, hey, when you breed like that, you got some seeds on it too. Do you get the mother out of it, or do you get more of the father, or is it like 50 50? You know? It could be 50 50. It could well, be. This, mm. Yeah, this will be my first yeah. time anyway. I mean, would it be this will be my first time like breeding, but uh, what I'm thinking is like this. All right, it so be when close um, to 50-50. Yeah, yeah. When you get with like, what's up? Let's let's talk about the uh, the, the uh, cherry pie candy land. All right, so uh, like yeah. I was saying, when I when I harvest this candy land, I mean this cherry pie right here, that's gonna taste just like cherry pie. It's not gonna be a lot of cherry pie. Because the seeds are here. <coughs> now, okay. that seed I showed you, that yeah. is the candy man. That's that's the cross. Oh, okay. And when, I won't F1. know what it tastes like until I smoke that seed. As, that's an F1. When, once those both are crossed, your first generation, your F1. Yep, so first, just the first generation. 50 -50. Uh, Once oh, those yep. have babies, then you're gonna have much more of a spread to see what happens. You know, you know, I'm trying to reverse and do all that back crossing and try to make it a nice strain because uh, I want to send those seeds to my boy John. I'm gonna send you some seeds, John, and I want you to tell him how I go. I already know it's gonna be good. I already know because the, the cherry pot and the candy yeah. land, I like both of these strains. Yeah. Yeah, that's that man. I, everybody talks about that candy land. Now, one thing going about here, see, this right here is the green giant. It didn't, it didn't smoke that well. So I'm hoping that the candy land mixed with the green giant and the baby Oscar the Grouch might be is smoking. Yeah, might yeah. be. Yeah, nice, nice. Maybe yeah. he, maybe he yeah. get him up there. Cause the candy Cause land, that's some good, that's some good weed. Like. <laughs> Does the other plant the reason why you're trying to breed it is it because it stacks nicely? It just doesn't smoke well, so you're just trying to get a better. Yeah, flavor. yeah. See the green giant, even though it didn't yeah. smoke well. Look at her; she's pretty. It's she hardy. Nice. Yeah. You know, she's been fighting the heat. 
fighting the elements, and she, she, you know, she's still fighting. She's still looking good. Yeah, <laughs> you said for that too. So if you can cross in some good flavor, then the cherry pie a little bit more penny. It's, it's, it's a, you know, the cherry pie. You know, I'm, I'm over here. She got ah uh, uh, man. I'm, I need some potassium. I need some potassium. She always says you need some phosphorus. So she real finicky. Yeah, and I, uh, I the, the Candyland boy, <laughs> the Candyland boy. I already know about him because he was attacked by spider mice. Did you know I found spider mice on him this morning? This morning, I'm like, yeah, I think we killed the spider mice three weeks ago, and I looked around. Oh, he had a little spider mite web. I'm like, oh hell no! So I got my little concoction, which is Captain Jack's dish soap and some essential oils. Sprayed her down. They hate. They hate essential oils. I swear, they hate that essential oil stuff. And getting rid of them. Okay. See, I never had to deal with spider mites. I don't know. Oh uh, man, spider mice, they always over here in Detroit, man. That's like the number one thing I have to deal with. I think the second thing I have to deal with when it comes to bugs is like is thrips. Yeah. <laughs> thrips and spider yeah, mice do the same right. thing almost, kind of close. You know, you know, you could get you could get uh mistaken for a thrips and it, it be, might be spider mice, you can get it mistaken for spider mice and it might be thrips. But uh Captain Jacks take care of both of them, so we okay. Oh, okay. That's there you go. Yeah, man. So this is my breeding project. Hey, look, it's coming along. Yeah. All we got is what? Uh, what? August, September. Yeah, I want to try. Let's go. No problem. I can send you the first generation, John. No problem. Yeah. I thought you wanted me to stabilize the seed, but I can send you the first generation. Yeah. No problem, bro. Well, let me see how many I get first. I'm thinking I'll probably get like 100 seeds. I should have had like a hundred seeds, you know, a hundred. We'll see. I don't know. What's up, heavy? Yeah, yeah. That's what I got. So that one time when I did the gelato, I got about a hundred seeds off of the plant. All right. I hope I hope I get like a hundred seed. Yep. And uh, you know, it's good to see that the uh the temperature's starting to come back in the range. What's that? Man, I uh, y'all can't see that on camera. Stuff. It's a eighty-six percent, uh, eighty-six uh, Fahrenheit and fifty-one percent uh, humidity. Oh yeah, you're running good, man. Yeah, you're fine. Got the humidifier out, say like forty-six percent, and I think it's uh, it's it's really it's getting colder now. So even though it's eighty-six degrees in the grow room. I think it's only like 77 outside, you know? It's only like 77 outside, and I think it's going to get down to 69. I got my little heater ready. You see my little heater right there? And um, check it. I turned them on last night, halfway. And uh, he kept it up to 86. My uh, my uh, my little monitor was telling me all night, like, oh, it's, it's too hot in there. And I was like, wow, on halfway? Wow, it's crazy. Yeah. Crazy. All right, man. Let me get out the way. Y'all take it yeah, easy, man. Good. I'll see you next time, John. Good. 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 See you, man. Yeah, you too, man. All right, I'll sit back and I'll watch the show. Okay, man. It's all. Right. All them roots hanging off the bottom of that. Yeah, man. You got that. Yeah, he's gonna have some good stuff with that candy land mixed with that cherry pie. And the... I've never heard of the green giant. Yeah, but man, that thing's looking good. Got them roots hanging out of it. Are you going to transplant it to a bird? Yeah, these are getting transplanted uh, tomorrow. Yeah, they need to get transplanted up. They're running out of uh, space for roots. I need to make them because they're oh, going to go into the. Start. What's up? Yeah, I watched that of uh, that Gabe Brown tall start. Yeah. 
he makes you know he, he makes it yeah i can't make things ah uh, you're chopping up for me no, i can't make it out like he does he's more professional talking you know you know you mow your lawn and we don't you know we you know sometimes we brush hog we don't even hang them we you what? I hope Sorry, I think my around. internet might be messing up again, folks. It's been a little slow. Oh no. I never get my ball when I'm waiting for him. I think my internet sometimes, like I said, folks, I live out, out in the stick. Why don't you just move it around a little bit? Like It's hard to get good internet. Is it is it cloudy? I, oh, no. My internet is so heavy older. Did have you trained your plant down? Keep going in it. Yeah, no, they're going to keep growing it, though. Keep tucking it. Like, what? <coughs> yeah, come, come show, show some of your, uh, oh, like, you get it tomorrow? <coughs> but, yeah, try, try to train those down. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that way they don't get right up there in that light. Man, I had a problem last year doing that. Well, if he spreads out what he has now, he's going to get a lot of decent bud sites underneath that light, right? As opposed to just a bunch of burnt shit. Yeah. <coughs> well, I can't wait to get these into the eight by four because I can start taking off. Yeah. <coughs> You're gonna, they're going from the little one and a half by three to an like eight by four. Let me pop that link on there. Real quick. There we go. What's up, John? Uh, Here, I'm oh, excited to show you guys. Here, I like tied these down, tied that one down. Oh, yeah. At all. But you guys see them? Like, do we go through the safe? Like, we wouldn't get any more money. It would just be me and <laughs> okay. see it starting to curl back up. Yeah, the branch has been so, getting heavier. About 28 to 48 hours, you'll see it starting to curl back up. They're, they're, they are getting heavier, so that's a good sign. They're going to stop trying to grow up. This yeah. new light I bought, it's, it's pretty good. What was that? Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's that bar cell that you're talking about. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's going to that's gonna allow you to get – you can get closer to it than you can with uh, with the other style. I do, I do want to be able Yeah, whenever I come in here, I open up this part of the tent, open up the door, and it gets oh, new fresh air in here because I flan – I got – I'll slay one on the uh, – and then I have another one I just that's sucking air in. You know? like, What's your humidity running 
Do you check it on the top yeah. and the it's bottom? It's at seventy five percent right now. So uh, and it's yeah. seven. What was that? What's your temperature? At the way bottom of the tent in the shade, it's 72. 72, but here, at, and you're up to 75 down there? So if, if that's where you are, I would start I would start probably taking out some leaves because that's a really high humidity for that low of temperature at the bottom. I, don't, I would hate for you to get this far. Yeah, yeah. Chris, don't kick the bucket. Or turn up your temperature all around because if you can get your temperature up, to match your humidity, then you can get your VPD right. But if your temperature is low like that and then your humidity is high, you're gonna get some you can get mold problems. I'm, I'm faded right now, bro. <laughs> yeah, what? Just you watch it again. Hard <laughs> app. But yeah, if you look at a VPD chart uh, at some point, just type type in your numbers and see what it says for Right now, you're in early to mid flower, and make sure that your VPD is matching that, or else you're going to possibly come into some problems. Yeah, that chill comes tomorrow. I'm about to start down there, and then all these I'm gonna have them at like right yeah. here. Yeah, yeah, bring it down and take out fucking fan leaves that you don't need. Want to talk more? George John, he's right there. He's just he was a little choppy, but I think he's back. Okay, um. This light, I literally just put this on there. It was literally Bloom Plus that did all this. I just took out a lot of leaves and stuff, you know. Yeah, no, per, it looks, it looks like you gave it a little bit more room, so that's good. Yeah, yeah. I'll know if I'm gonna be able to rest. Damn, Chris, get on my room. I'm on the live with them, man. Chill the fuck out. Yeah. What's wrong with him, bro? Yeah, you got some big ones there. Oh yeah, look at feeling in there. Yeah. It's gonna that stack on there. nicely. Yeah, just pull it on down just a little bit. Yeah, every day. Yeah, bro, I've been um. They picked up some trichomes, man. When I zoom in, I've never Where's tried, that, but I see a lot of YouTubers using that. That bud candy. And then, like once or twice a week or something like that, I'll throw in some of this. Oh, yeah. Might have to look into that. They're stretching good, though. Yeah, I know people that grow in real life and stuff, and I've and I also went to a pot farm a few times, you know. But this is my first actual my plants, you know, like it's first time I ever grew. Yeah, man, you did a good job. You did a good job. Yeah, Bloom Plus is amazing. That shit, that shit did all this, you know. So I just put this in. It's also your feed. Yeah, too. You'll your light, your light, your light yeah. is one of eight inputs. Is that the new light that you got? Yeah, it's a Flizon. It's a 6500. Okay, I got it. Really, really bright person. It's not even all the way up. Yeah, I wish Bloom Plus would make some uh, rare no, lights like it. that. Oh shit. <laughs> oh shit. Yeah, I'm gonna quit fucking with that. <laughs> Dude, it was just a really big cloud outside, you know? Because if you really think about it, that's what happens in nature, you know? Box the sun for a little bit. So I yeah, don't think that's proud of that, man. That's a good looking grow. I've been high. I'm watching some shit on UFOs. <laughs> oh, what's up, we're in purple? How's it going, man? Hey John, let me see, let me see the venoms, man. Man, looking good, looking good, growing. Nice. John, John, show the yeah, show yeah. the venoms real quick, man. Just keep them a little away from that. If you see them starting to turn like a little bit of yellow, it means they're too close to the light. Did you see what he was doing? And I've burnt so many plants because I let them grow right up into the light. John, are you by the venoms right now? Do what? Are you by the Venoms right now? Yeah. Are, are you able to um, show them real quick? You want me to show the Venoms? Yeah, I showed them just a minute ago. Hang on, let me switch my camera. Oh, we're looking for the Venoms real quick. Yeah, those things are looking awesome.
I need to clean my teeth. Yeah, they're getting pretty chunky. Yeah, man, those are stacking so nice. But we yeah, watch you your video. What, what what week are you in? Right down through there. You see that man? Does that look like a little nanner to you? Yeah, I saw the video. I would keep an eye on it just because of the color of it until it starts protruding. That's why I was wondering what week are you in? What week? Oh no. Lose him. Oh shit, he's froze. Oh, yeah, shit. I was like, why well, he, he, he normally would answer. Dude, yeah, I've, been, I've been wondering that because what did he start him like six yeah. five weeks ago? Six yeah, ago? He's, I would be watching for the trichomes. Yeah, no, for sure. But if he's saying nanners, that's also why I'd be wondering what Oh yeah, I saw that one. But I mean the bud already looks good and shit, you know? So it's not like it's gonna reverse any of that, you know. Yeah. It wouldn't even be that bad of a harvest right now, you know? It's killer. No, it's not even developed, so it's not going to get any issues. Am I still frozen? I don't know. I'm, I'm like, took off of this. Do you know what sucks is when you sit there and you're getting your press ready and you don't have any parchment paper? <laughs> <laughs> Can you hear me? Am I still yeah, here? Yeah, I can hear you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's up? Okay. I heard, uh, yeah, I heard you guys in there saying I kind of froze up in the video when I was showing. Yeah, yeah what it, what it, week? I, it started to pop the little banners. There's, there's only like three or four I found on the whole plant. So I'm going to mm -hmm. take a pair of tweezers and just pop them out. I just want to, it, it, it kind of looks like a banner, but when I take my jeweler's lube, it just started. Yeah, it, or it could just be hairs that are coming out with deformed like colors because you're so deep in the flower already. Yeah. Look at him from this angle. Like, can you guys see him? Oh, yeah. That's a pretty plant right there. <laughs> Thanks, man. Them ladies, are, man them ladies are beautiful. That one's a fucking freak show back there. Yeah, I've been, like, taking out of the middle. I'm talking about? Yeah. I thought I thought it was a nanner. Yeah, I just put this light in there. Bloom Plus did all this. This barely did anything. The Bloom Plus really did all this so far, you know? Yeah, now that you open now you can open, it up, <laughs> open, lines, open it up, spread them out, get them down, man. You'll have a good yeah. yield. Sorry if I'm interrupting. It's like delayed, so I never know when anyone else is going to talk, you know? No, you're all good. I'm trying to think of where I can get parchment paper from in my house or something that works like parchment paper because I've already made cheers, this man, cheers, man. to press and I'm trying to figure out how to do it. <laughs> yeah, my Charles gets here tomorrow. Oh, nice. Yeah, I know that will definitely I know. I got to look back at my videos. I'm not sure on what day on flower I am. I'm, on, I'm just like a tricone. Yeah, I keep I losing track. I've been checking my trichomes. They're not quite right there yet. I'll probably... It'll probably be another couple weeks, I think, on mine. Yeah, probably a couple more weeks, but I would definitely pinch that out before it like, develops anymore. You don't want it to come out and develop. I'm trying to flip this. Yeah, oh, it's okay. yeah, sir. It's like it's a, yeah, it's a male it. pod that comes out and has pollen in it. But it's yeah, happening right at the very end. There, now I can actually see yeah. what I'm... Is it called redanciation? Or, 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 what is it called? It's something like that. that one never the, did. 
What is yeah, it called? I noticed, man, that one never did have, it never popped, uh, you know, the white pistol hairs. It just went straight in the bud and never had pistol hairs. So I, it may be part of the genetics, too. Yeah. But it did it at the very end, so I don't think I'm going to get any seeds or anything. But I'm going to take no. a pair of tweezers and just pop them little babies off there. I it still needs to develop pollen it's anyways. It's like it's so it's so new. It hasn't like popped out and actually turned into like a banana looking nanner. It's it's still in there. So if you get it out before it develops anything, I don't think you have an issue. Like but then it's still it'd have to go the and then shape. have something in it before it did it's anything. Like <laughs> this one right here, this one looks up. Oh, what's up, guys? Shit. Oh, so that was a male? Okay. So it did. It, it did turn into male, huh? I got you. Right. Yeah, my child gets here tomorrow. Yeah, How low should pan. I go? Yeah. How low should yeah. I go? I I would I would give yourself a foot and a half of space probably without bar stall light. Yeah, I would probably give yourself a, about a foot and a half underneath the bar stall light. Yeah. I agree with Matt there. Pull them things on down, spread them out. You got that other Eight, 18 piece. inches is pretty uh, pretty standard for that style. You can get a little smaller underneath the uh, corner board styles because they're designed for that. Seven. But if we need a bar style, you want to get a little bit closer, but not four inches, not where you're at right now because you're just going to have problems with uh, bleaching <laughs> and your trichomes frying <laughs> off. It's going to taste like shit. Who's got my room? You too fun. <laughs> uh, you got some. I I, I I grew I grew these auto flowers once that fucking grew like six and a half feet tall in a four by four. If you realize yeah. how big, how tall that is, how close it was to the light, it all tasted yeah. like garbage. They were huge. Like the buds were like huge. Not worth it. Not worth any of it. So yeah, because sometimes you so gotta make sure that you're careful with what you do. Yeah. Yeah. I've had the same problem. I know what Matt's talking about there. Yeah. Well, they just grow so big, but you're just like, mm, butter. <laughs> oh, did you yeah. guys see the thing where um yield source um he said he got banned for uh, until October 30th or something like that in his comments. Oh really? Yeah, he what? replied to me. I guess I well, they shut him down, huh? It's fucked up. Yeah, I know. I know. It's cool as shit, man. There's no reason. That was some bullshit. Yeah, there ain't no reason for that. Yeah. I'd appealed that sucker. I mean, <laughs> I'm always appealing it. <laughs> Plus, I any even... I feel that shit, you know? I'm like, nah, you ain't going to give me a strike. It's legal here. Everything I'm doing is legal. Yeah, I know exactly what Toss I was just saying to him. But like the one that we we're talking about on John's farm right now is so premature that it's not even gonna have pollen in it. You just pinch it off with tweezers and it'll be fine. But yeah, when they come to out looking like a cluster of bananas, like he's saying, yeah. you gotta be at that point. You gotta be careful with it. Yeah, but it still needs to, <laughs> then it still needs to pollinate the bud, and then the seed still needs to form. Is if you if if it if it gets a little dusty in the middle of trimming. It's yeah. not going to do anything at that point. You're not going to form anything. Yeah, I had some in a uh, Girl Scout cookie auto flower, and they popped up big old manners on them. You know? oh, yeah, no. I'm just gonna, what was it? But I only had two plants left out of that grow. I harvested everything before. Those were just later plants, so I got lucky on that. You know, they weren't in there at the same time. So, mm -hmm. one of my big old tall blue dream photo periods, I just. I just took the seeds out of them, and because it was an auto flower bred, it was an auto flower Girl Scout cookie bred to a blue dream photo period. I don't know what I'm going to get, you know. <laughs> it, it could be an auto flower. It could not be an auto flower too. Yeah, I know. I haven't. I've got them. <laughs> I've got them in a container in there. I'm going to try one to see what happens. Oh, yeah. No, know. that'd be an interesting experiment. I would definitely veg them for like eight weeks just to make sure you didn't have an auto flower. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, that's uh, what strain? Hey, you heavy yielder, what strain is that? It's purple Kush. Bro, it has a. Oh, yeah, purple 
Bro, this, I'm telling you, bro, lemon up the ass, bro. I'm telling you, shit's fucking crazy. Uh, oh, yeah, I still got a lot of seeds. They're not, like, feminized, but, you know. Crazy. Have a good one, Eric. Man, you all right, man? That looks good. Yeah, Bloom Plus did all this for me. I'm kind of amazed. It's not just your light. There's many different factors that go into play. Plus, you're only at the beginning of flower. So, it's, you still got a bit of a journey to go. You're doing well. You're doing well. But again, like I said, bring that down away from your light. Tra take off some of those leaves so you don't get rot issues. Because it's 75% and at 72 degrees Fahrenheit, you're going to get rot issues. I'm just letting you know that now. Okay. Yeah, put an oscillating fin at the bottom of the grow. Yeah, no, you could do that, but still, get a big, you get get a dehue in there if you want to run, if you don't want to take yeah, leaves no off. Problem, but at seventy five percent, your buds are going to be done, and botrytis is not tasty. What's the ideal for flower? For what? Ideal for flower? I like yeah. to run my flower at about sixty, uh, sixty percent. Uh, Humidity, I know that's what I'm gonna do for it. What was that? I have fans. I got four fans. I got two at the top, I got two at the bottom. And then I like to run my temperatures at about 84 or 85 at well it's at 60. Or else if, if you're if you're in the 70s, you're gonna get possible rot issues at that point. Yeah. Right. I pretty I pretty much run the same as Matt does right there. Yeah. I run about the 85 and and then when my lights go out, it gets down to about 72, I think, is the lowest it gets. And then when yeah. my lights go back on, and then my humidity runs around 55 to 60 all the time. So That's perfect. That's how I like to run flower. Yeah. Uh, beginning of flower or even veg, you can get to the 70s, but you want to make sure that you're you're running your temperatures at the right temperature for that. Yeah. Exactly. Just, run it, just follow a VPT chart. You can just Google VPT. Uh, calculator and then punch in your information it automatically calculates it to your leaf temperature but if you don't if you got uh, an infrared temperature to actually do your leaf temperature then you can get more accurate but I, most of those calculators don't even have that input yeah I'd like to add, get me one of those the ones that are gun things that you can tell your the heat off of your plant what was I going to say I'm trying to see if I have mine here or if they're at my new pack to do was gas. <laughs> no, I think they're at my grow. They're not here. They're at my grow. <laughs> That's probably the better place for them, anyways. Yeah, man. Think I'm thankful for Bloom Plus because <laughs> I'm amazed how cheap it was. <laughs> no, 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 no. He's he, no, he doesn't want to cut it. We're not talking about cutting it, we're talking about using low stress training. As, via a trellis net to bring it down. He's not. He's not to cut any of those branches. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not the real deformed clothes. looking buds. <laughs> yeah. No, true yeah. that. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm happy he said something though because it's true. Don't cut at this point because they're gonna look fucked up if you do. Are you guys talking about clones? No, 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 no. We're, we, we, he, somebody said it about was talking about uh, if your plants and you can't cut it now because they're in flower or whatever, right? And we were just agreeing, yeah, you wouldn't cut it. You would do a low stress training on your plant. Not yeah, this one got trained really good. Yeah, I, I, I went to town on this one. This shit. Next time though, start a trellis at the big. Do you have a trellis on the bottom, or are you just growing that straight up? Yeah, I started earlier next time. I would start a trellis in your down. beginning. I, tie it, down yeah, these. I do tie downs. Like I have tie downs on these. But once you get to your team. final pots for the last couple weeks of veg, going into the first couple weeks of flower, you use a trellis normally with about a three. I like three inch squares because they're, you can yeah. move way easier with that. And then throw a five inch square trellis about two feet above that to support your buds once they grow into that after you trained yeah so you want to have a training layer and then a support layer and then Dude. again never reuse it cut it up it doesn't matter we don't reuse it these things are nice. like lifesavers bro these things were swarmed with these like gnats or whatever yeah, 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 yeah. 
<laughs> I, I just land everywhere, bro. <laughs> at, at the size of your plants now, they're not going to cause that many issues. It just sucks having bugs, but you want to. Dude, I just, every time I see them, I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> what are you doing on my property? <laughs> this is my grow. You like territorial, you know? Start killing them and shit. If he tossed, if he tossed a like a um, like a five inch trellis over top of that, he'd be fine. He doesn't need to just use tie downs. Um, I bought a fi uh, five by five. It was like a four by four and slash five by five. Yeah, you, you want to buy them that way. Don't if if you have a five by five tent, buy a trellis for a four by four. You never buy the yeah. one for the five by five, but that thing's gonna droop. It, it says <laughs> a four by four one. slash five by five. So and, and on the you're picture, short yeah. expression. It's gonna stretch. Yeah, you don't ever want to buy one that's made for a five by five because it's, it's never gonna be good. Yeah, tie down and trellis. That's exactly what I would do. I would do yeah, the trellising and then tie to the trellis net. That's what I would do because then you have yeah, the net everywhere and that has a lot of places to tie to. Is that what you do too, John? Yeah, yeah, that's what I do too. When I'm on my bigger grow, that's what I had to do. I even yeah. had to tie and whenever I, I broke three foot, you know, my plant off the top, I had to bend it because I mm -hmm. you know, Picked up. I, we, we did the auto fire go where I accidentally grabbed two blue dreams that were photo period, and I went through the whole auto grow and then let them grow out. And man, they got so tall in my building, I took three foot of the top and broke it over. And, it <laughs> and I had to have uh, bricks underneath it to pull my trellis net down because it was trying to pull the trellis up, and I had it stretched so tight, you know. How long did your autos run for? So how long did it veg? How did those two pets veg for before you were able to flip them? It veg for three months. <laughs> three months. You know? the fuck? Yeah. How big did they end up? Yeah, I just let it go. I yeah. let it go. Yeah. How big did they end up? John? That's where I got my, uh, my seeds from. Auto flower to my photos because I at the very end of my growth. Oh, yeah. That last uh, Girl Scout cookie I had, the last two I harvested. One of them had nanners on it and got into my blue dream photo period. And so that's how I got those seeds. Oh, okay. Nice. I let them, I let it seed out a little bit and then I cut them down and collected the seeds off of them. Yeah, let them mature. You want to let them mature. You don't want to pop a bunch of white little capsules out yet. Oh, yeah, boy. yeah, I let them mature though. <laughs> my grandpa threw these outside and they were looking so shitty I had to rescue them. How about a. When this light turns off, I'm gonna put them under my XP three thousand. What light are they under right now? Oh, they're in here, but then this one's gonna turn off for flower, and then I'm gonna turn it on have my XP three thousand. Yeah. Dude, he like so I bought some see it was early miss. Dude, it took two oh, big Hey guys. What's up, me? Uh I don't know how to turn my camera around though. Well, here's my outdoor northern lights. Oh, Holy that's shit. yeah, boy, she's looking good. That little guy is another pheno of it, but I hurt the root. There's a blueberry starting. I don't know if you guys can see it. I got this uh, netting around to keep the deer out because the deer are in my yard every oh. night. That's stacking yeah, in really nice. Those. Yeah, I know we got the deer. So out. There you go, John. That's, That's the world famous toss start. That's a nice oh, big pull. Nice though. to meet you, man. Yeah, those are look, that's looking good, nice, looking man. Good, bro. I mean, you're looking good, bro. It's a big ass butt on top. I'm not familiar with uh, any of the other guys. I subscribed to the guy in the black hat because of uh, yeah, oh, man. yeah. Thank I subscribed you. to you there and entered that contest. Oh man. yeah. Um, my memory of things isn't as good as it used to be. <laughs> Man, no, I just started, I just started trying to get my there. racing pigeons in right now. I got old birds. I I'm trying to train out. Okay, I'll take you in and I'll show you my Larry OGs. Yeah, uh, yeah. And thanks for all your info and uh, your support, man. I'll show you my Larry OGs. Oh, uh, that's my TV with. You're on my 55 inch, gentlemen. That's where I always watch you. Nice, there you go. So, yeah, hell yeah. Here's my Larry OGs. Another three weeks to go. This one here is uh, a little more ready. Oh, those looking good. Lighter buds on this one. These are pretty nice, tight little buds. 
Those aren't Niners. Those are still fox tailing. Oh, yeah. Those are beautiful. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Those are stacked in nice. Fox, fox tailing. So, and then downstairs, blueberry. I've got a bunch of blueberry and uh, bow wine, which is a CBD type. But, yeah, this closet has produced amazing I'll amounts of weed. But, like yeah, that. that's where I had that uh, Jamaican uh, pearl, and it's hanging in the closet. I cut it. It, it hermied right away, and it ruined these. They're almost certainly got seeds in them. Oh. Hell, yeah. Hell, I can't hear you guys. Maybe let me see. No, I can't hear you. Yeah, that was CBD, man. I like it in my, my you know, with, hmm. I like high CBD, too. I got some cherry pot or cherry something that's a... Uh, Sorry if I interrupted anyone there. I no. can't hear you guys at all. Have you ever heard of a product called uh, Reverse Dragon? Reverse Dragon? Dragon, like dragon. Dra okay, uh -uh, I've never heard that. It's a product that we have up here in Canada, but I've actually used it once on a plant on a plant that hermied on me. And so once it started to hermie, I sprayed it with this product. A little bit beyond me. Yeah. I, it, it I'm amazed that I can even use these things. I never had my first computer until 2000, and then I never, just my kids used it. Yeah. Well, I thought I it was a printer. I got it from my grow shop and I actually sprayed it on my plant and it stopped the male portions from forming. So the ones that already formed were on there and then they never formed. No more pollen sacs formed after the, after that happened. So I was able to take I'm that. Go right and listen to you on my big TV. And not got seeds. I didn't get seeds. You didn't get seeds? Like no, it actually worked in such a way where it destroyed the male, the male right organ on the plant. my big TV. And not got seeds. I didn't get seeds. Didn't get seeds. No, it actually worked in such a way where it destroyed me. Okay. And not got seeds. I didn't get seeds. Didn't get seeds. No, it actually worked. Yeah, but man, you got to go along there and toss that. I like the plants looking good. Hey, what's up, Turf Farm? Temperatures are supposed to go down there. I'm hoping that'll help. Yeah. It's not working right, guys. Uh, when I go near my TV, it mucks the uh, voice on my TV up. Hold on. I'll, um, I just, I'm going to come into the channel here. Yeah, I can hear you. Fine. Toss that. Dark. Hmm. Good eco now. I don't get it. I it's hope this thing isn't using. Uh, I think I'm gonna bail, guys, because it's showing my phone. And if it's using my phone, it's gonna be using a U.S. phone, and I just cost myself uh, several hundred dollars. So I'm gonna bail. Okay, thanks. Enjoy okay. the your time. Thanks, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No problem. Um. Who that was tossed, right? Yeah, John. that's tossed. Toss okay, I, I'm gonna send him a message and kind of explain how that product works, so he kind of understands. So he has that problem in the future. It's it's something I've used and worked. So maybe if it can help him out, or if he just watches yeah. the uh, the recording of this, he might be able to to, to figure it out too. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. Well, I'm gonna have to get off here, man. I got some stuff I gotta go get done before I get yeah, man. Out of bed. I gotta go up. And I gotta get up at four in the morning and go up to the grow and we'll start working again. So. Yeah, I just started a big job actually coming up. So I gotta, I got tomorrow to work my plants, and I got like four days, including the weekend, that I have to work. So it sucks. <laughs> yeah. So I gotta get ready for that too. Yeah. So everybody, y'all, thanks for tuning in, y'all. Y'all have a good night, and uh, uh, till next time, everybody. Peace out.